All right, now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be uh, connecting the female ESC connectors to the 6S nanotechs that I got that have the uh, banana plug. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut off the banana plug. Uh, we're going to cut off the banana plug. We're going to re-solder um, the tip and then we're going to put it into this uh, 5mm EC5. So that's what we're going to do right now. So let's go ahead and do that. This one should be easy. I've done this before. So what we do here is we're going to cut the wire here. Sorry, wire cutters. Okay. Be careful not to short these out. These are not it's definitely not a pretty picture when these short out. So I'm going to put the uh, red wire here. I have a tie. Where'd that tie go? So I'm going to put this tie right here to keep this wire over here. Okay. And then with this wire, what we're going to do is we're going to take our... Um, we're going to take our X-Acto knife and just about just about two millimeters, two, three millimeters up. Just kind of roll your X-Acto knife on, on the uh, silicon sheath over the wires that you have. And then you can just pull that wire off or pull the sheath off. There you have your exposed uh, gauge wire for what we're going to be doing. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take our helping hands here. We're going to put the wires up like that, the battery wire up like that, and then we're going to put a little solder on the uh, solder. Put a little solder on the uh, the battery plug or the battery wire here. So, okay. So as the wires get hot, the solder um, soaks kind of into the into the wires, and that's how you know you you're kind of doing it right. If the if the solder just kind of sits on the outside of the wires, the wires aren't getting hot enough to where the solder is going inside. And what you want is the solder to go inside, so that when you put it into the connection, it's a solid connection that solder is biting onto each of those fibers and not just on the outside and that's how a lot of people lose their connections you want to make sure you do want to make sure that the solder penetrates the outside as well that coats it but then you want to make sure that the wires get hot enough to where the solder gets inside each of those wires and solderizes each of those wires that's good enough I think for now Take a look on the other side. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're going to take our Mr. Jig here. I'm gonna put it in put our EC5 connector in there. We're gonna put some uh solder in here you don't need a lot because you have a lot of solder on the connect on the battery connection already so you just put a little bit in here you know just to kind of coat coat the sides and stuff just to make sure that the uh, the cup in here is nice and hot and you take your uh, battery wire and be careful because your battery wire could still be really hot uh, but just go ahead and put that right there and then just kind of once the solder on the battery connection starts to starts to liquefy then you want to start pushing it in while you're sliding your solder out see like right there and if you do it right it'll be straight so go ahead and Try and redo this.
the one thing about these EC5 connectors is trying to get this the solder to re liquefy once it's solidified it gets kind of hard but if you tease it with a little bit of fresh solder a lot of times it'll it'll soften up just enough to let you do what you need to do okay, so just gotta give this a little second it's the solder in here is starting is starting to loosen up so once it loosens up then I'm gonna straighten this wire out there it is you can see it going and there it is and now that I have the wire straight or relatively straighter than it used to be now uh, I can put it in the negative side the round side of the female connection Then again, we take our screwdriver, just kind of poke the side to let it goes in, and then there's that pop that you're looking for. And then just kind of tug on it, just to make sure that your your connection is your solder joint is nice and solid. This one is, so I'm not worried about it. So then we're gonna move on to the next next side, which is the red side. Again, take your uh, Take your pliers, your, your your wire cutter pliers, I cover it so that the piece doesn't go flying all over the place. Okay, and you, again you just kind of take a little bit off of the edge with the sheath. I think we can take a little bit more. I'm gonna go ahead and put this one back here too. Okay guys, here it is. I think you can see it. I'll go ahead and zoom in a little bit. So there's the connection there. And bring this out just a little bit. Okay, now what we're gonna do again, uh, we're gonna bring our helping hands over. Okay, and then we're gonna re they're gonna solder the uh, the battery wires. Okay, this soldering connection was actually a lot better than the first one that I just did. The first one had way too much in there. And this one is actually soldering just perfectly. So this, if you could see, let me go ahead and bring this up to the camera. This is actually how you want it. You don't want globs of solder on your joint. You just want it to, let's see. You just want a nice even coat all around the all around the wire, just like that. Okay, now we're gonna take our other female joint here. We're gonna put some more solder in this one, just a little bit, and then we're gonna put the uh, the red side in.
Okay, that was a lot easier than the first one. Okay, so now we have our red side in. Okay, then we're gonna take our plug and we're gonna put it in the flat side. Remember the red side, which is the positive side, goes into the uh, goes into the flat side. And then there's that pop. Okay, so there you go. Here's our. This is uh, this is well. This is how I soldered uh, batteries for the EC5. Hope you found this uh, informative. I'm sure other people do it differently, but thanks for watching.